Not yet. Go. All right. Now? All right. Hey, everybody. Today we've got the Fun Hole, Fun Hole uh, Steampunk train station. 1,843 pieces of big, glorious fun. Uh, this is the biggest kit of theirs that I've done, expanse-wise. It's huge. Um, it's detailed, and it's pretty beautiful, honestly. A um, lot of wires, a lot of lights. Uh, Desiree is showing you this. We did put the train onto the tracks. That is the Fun Hole Steampunk. That is a Steampunk train. And we also started with the lights on. I'm just going to leave the lights on. We're just going to... But it does look really cool. It's got the the gondola or so, yeah, fly, so flying this, train, whatever yeah, it's so called. This battery box. This little battery thing is supposed to fit inside the gondola, and you're supposed to like turn on and off. I said I'm not messing with having to take that thing on and off the tracks and rip the roof off. And this track is a little bit on the wobbly side, if you see yes. here. That so. thing was a. Freaking nightmare to put together. I heard a couple F bombs coming from the office no, when he was building of, that one. Of, there were a lot of F bombs. Because yeah. it kept falling apart and breaking on him, I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, it's just beautiful. It really is a nice, big, beautiful set. Um, we're going to take the train off, I think, so that you guys can. Why don't you show them the back while I remove the train? Okay, hold on, guys. She's going to pass me the camera. Hello, everyone. So I'm going to try and show you guys the side here. Whoop, that was my finger. I am so sorry, everybody. Wow, you you can tell I'm usually the one that records yes, these things. Yes, that's so. why she's a filmographer. And back here is kind of like where I hid, like, you know, you hide most of the wires and the battery boxes. But this is the back side. Or and there's a second lights. battery box down here. Yeah, we got the other battery box down there. Normally, I would say you display it with the front side facing, and then you got your two battery boxes on the back side here. And then this is a nice little tower area here. Uh, you've got like some new, you got a newspaper there and some other stuff. I can take that to come to this side and show you. You got like a little ore container in here with the blue ore that they like doing um this one yeah so it's 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 very cool the colors are nice i'll do like a little fly by like look it's a drone shot there you go baby you got a cool little clock tower um all of these are stickers no prints God, fun hole, you need to do prints. I suck at sticker placement. And these are those heat press down stickers. So God forbid if you get it wrong, it's going to rip. Um, so that sucked. Now, this elevator does work. Um, here, I'll try and... I'm going to turn the lights off because it's giving off a weird glare. And I don't okay. know that they can see what you're trying to show them right oh, now. All right. Let's turn the lights off. Alexa, put dining light at 100%. Dining room doesn't support that. We didn't say room. Alexa, put oh. dining light at 100%. Dining room doesn't support that. Alexa, oh. turning. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, <laughs> she didn't even understand what I said. The TV doesn't support that, sweetheart. Oh, I forgot to turn this one off. Yeah, that's fine. Just leave this one on. I'll leave that one on. It. Okay. So, let me move this a little bit. Where are you moving it to and what are you doing? I'm trying to get around here so I can show them the elevator. Oh, you want to show the elevator. Yeah. Okay. So, the elevator is right there. So, there is a crank. Oh, you want me to turn the crank? Is it this it. one here? No, no, no. It's oh, no, that's not a crank. So, you go like this. And you and see the, the elevator little elevator down. going down. Now, for whatever reason, it gets a little stuck here, and you really have to force it. Operator error. For a couple of turns. And then it goes smoothly to the bottom. And then the elevator comes back up. And again, here. You get Operator a, error. Yeah, whatever. 
I went over it three <laughs> times. It's not operator error. But there's like a gap in there. Because they use these little corkscrew guys uh, for the pieces. But there's a gap in between them. And I think that's where it gets caught. But anyways, and then the elevator comes back up. So that's your, like, I guess, what, movement, kitsch thing, whatever, that they like doing in Just there? another key cat. Key cat. It's a key rat. Cat. Oh, bad rat. Bad rat. With the mouse, the, the cheese. See, the rat's going for Ew. the cheese. Ew. So you got a rat and cheese. I thought that was a kitty cat. It's no, no, no. Rat. Ugly rat. All right, so here it is, the fun hole. How many pieces was it again? 1,843. Now, one other side note, which was kind of cool. Um... Fun hole, when they did the instruction book for this, they had a, a misprint on one of the pages. And they had a correction sheet. And on a correction sheet, it said to go on their Facebook group and tell them about this and they would reward you. So I got this cool little package from Fun Hole. Uh, these are actually minifigures for the Steampunk train station. There we go, because the light was reflecting Sorry, off of it. the light was hitting the bad guys, so... But we got little steampunk dudes. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. But he doesn't um, want to take them out of the no, box. No, I'm not going to take them out of the box and put them around the train station, because this these are the first minifigures that Fun Hole has ever done. None of their sets have ever come with minifigures. Except for the new one that It's Not Lego got to do. Very jealous of you that you got to do that. Fun Hole sent you that set to review. Pre-production, fun hole. If you ever see any of my videos, this is a note. I also do reviews. Feel free to send me any sets that you would like. Like uh, that new one that you guys sent out the um, the survey about. You know, the steampunk hot air balloon. Yeah, you could send one my way. Ain't gonna say no. Um, anyways, they have a new set coming out, which is a, uh, a jungle, like a lost jungle, haunted jungle, uh, exploration thing. And that supposedly has a minifigure or two in it. Um, but anyways, it's not Lego. He's got his blog. Go check it out. Anyways, yeah, so if you get it, you may get some steampunk figures for free. If the books they're putting out still have mistakes in them. Got on Amazon, $89, I think it was. Or actually, I think I got this for $79 and the train for $69 because they were on sale at the time. So I got a good deal, so I bought them both at the same time. It's a lot of brown, though. It is, it is. But I, that's steampunk, so. Part. Well, it's, it's like a beige and the orange and the rust. It's a lot know. of brown. I like it. I think it's I think it's big and it's beautiful. It's big, beautiful. Honestly, it is a nice brown set. set. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, <laughs> share if you know anybody likes Lego or share Lego wannabes. Or Lego wannabes. We love Lego yeah. wannabes. We love it. We love my Lego. bank account loves Lego wannabes. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, yo, know, we we thank you guys for all the subscribers. You know, we thank all of you guys for everything, really. You know, without you, we wouldn't have a channel. So, uh, don't forget that the notifications. So, when we get new videos, uh, you know, you guys know they're coming out. Hit the little bell. ding a ling a ling <laughs> ding a ling a ling baby. <laughs> all right. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we'll be talking to you all soon. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.